It is Friday. Happy Friday. TGIF, everyone. Big news for the Iranians. It is election day. Could spell could the end for Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. There is a lot of enthusiasm here. Massive lines. Long lines. Officials had to extend the polling time. How will this historic Iranian election affect us. If Ahmadinejad should lose, good news for President Obama. A lot easier to negotiate with someone who is not belligerent. He could build on this adrenaline of change. Nothing's going to change. Khomeini is the supreme leader, going to be the supreme leader. ABA mindset, anybody but Ahmadinejad. You have Ahmadinejad who tells people he's proceeding with the nuclear program and plans to wipe Israel off the map. Or a moderate who proceeds with the nuclear program but is smart enough to keep his mouth shut. Yeah, I see the distinction. American policy with respect to Iran and its nuclear program is not dependent on which administration is governing Iran. That will not change. Have a great weekend. Okay, there he is, uh, President Obama, wishing everyone a wonderful weekend. Oh, well, he's going to take a question. Let's listen. You get a feeling he liked that question. You see the way he did that little turnaround dance? We are excited to see robust debate taking place in Iran. We think there is the possibility of change. Whoever ends up winning, the fact that there's been a robust debate hopefully will help advance our ability to engage them in new ways. Way too early for us to be able to say who's going to be the winner. Getting media reports. CNN has not in any way, shape, or form confirmed the results. I've been Twittering with a lot of folks, but again, caveat, have not confirmed. I want to be as clear as I possibly can. Somewhat confusing. The Iranian news reporting Ahmadinejad has won. Musavi, the reformer, told the media he has won. Conflicting reports. Musavi saying that he has won. The Iranian news agency, quite the opposite. Really got two conflicting reports.